Welcome back to another SnowRunner truck review. Today we're going to take a look at one of the elite trucks in the game and has been since the game launched in 2020. So before I start, I ask that you please help support the channel by liking the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into it and check it out. The Kraz 6322 is a heavy, multi-purpose armored vehicle built for transportation of military equipment, personnel, towing, and also moving artillery systems into the most hostile environments. In the game, the Kraz 6322 is the revered Tega 6436. Since the launch of this game, this vehicle has firmly established itself as an elite truck. Whenever a new truck is introduced to the game, it's compared to the Tega because it sets the standard of what an elite truck should be. The 6436 can take on the hardest of tasks with ease, which is why I call it the safety net because it simply makes the game easier. So before we dive into the pros and cons, let's take a look at the base stats. The Tega 6436 is classified as an off-road truck. It weighs 12.1 tons. In its stock configuration, it boasts a power to weight of A, a durability of A-, fuel consumption B+, fuel capacity is 330 liters or 88 gallons, it comes with a stock suspension, its tires also come stock with a 47 inch highway tire, its all-wheel drive is always on, and its diff lock is always on as well. Alright, let's dive into the pros and cons of the Tega 6436. As always, bad news first, so coming in at downside number one, somewhat limited add-ons. To be honest, finding downsides for the Tega was a difficult task, but there are some things that need to be noted. First, the Tega is somewhat lacking when it comes to vehicle add-ons. Personally, I haven't found this to be a deterrent and I'll tell you why shortly. The 6436 cannot use the logging crane, the maintenance frame add-on, the ramp towing platform, and the sideboard bed with a crane. A few missing add-ons are definitely frustrating here, but if it had everything, truly I don't think anyone would use any other trucks. To combat the lack of add-ons, just break out a different vehicle that can support them. For the crane and sideboard bed issue, easy. Just use the low saddle, small crane, and sideboard bed semi-trailer. In my opinion, this setup is better for such an agile truck anyways. Downside number two, wheel spin. The vehicle is not lacking in weight. It actually is well balanced enough to give it good grip most of the time. However, there are some times when it can suffer from wheel spin. For this downside, if this occurs, just clutch bump to downshift, or manually drop it into a lower gear until you feel safe enough to crack the throttle wide open again. Downside number three, sporadic fuel consumption. In truth, I've spent a lot of time using this truck, and I gotta say, sometimes I have it pegged as the gas guzzler, and other times I feel it's efficient. To make this one as simple as I can, it can get up into those uncomfortable ranges under heavy loads, blazing through trails in high gear, and overall when the motor has to ramp up. That's pretty standard for any vehicle, but it will touch over 5.0 to 6.0 gallons per minute, but only for short periods. Overall, the Tega is decent when it comes to fuel, has good range and tank size, but just know that its consumption is sporadic at times. Downside number four, damage prone. This downside is not criticizing its durability. The 6436 actually has good damage tolerances but it will soak up damage from its rapid pace in the high range gearbox. To mitigate this, just slow down until you're on softer terrain, or you could bump it down to the off-road gearbox. So for this one, just be aware that you might take quite a few hits to your suspension along your travels. And finally, coming in at downside number seven, you're waiting for upgrades. Although this vehicle is pretty good in its stock configuration, the Tega's true potential is not unleashed until it's fully outfitted with all upgrades. If you're playing the game chronologically, you'll have the off-road and highway gearbox ready for equipping, but its engines and race suspension upgrades are on other maps in Tamir. Its middle engine upgrade is found on the second Tamir map, the Quarry. The final engine upgrade and the race suspension are on the third map, Zimnogorsk. Being that you have to complete a chain of missions to unlock the map gateways, the Zimnogorsk garage, and traverse across full maps to find these upgrades, this had to go on our downsides list. 
So as we can see, those downsides weren't bad at all, but the Tega's upside list is quite extensive, so stick around. Here are the pros for the Tega 6436. Coming in at upside number one, power and range. Once again, our most common number one upside couldn't be left off the list in this case. In short, the Tega's engine provides great power, decent fuel consumption, enabling pulling the heaviest of loads. This motor's power allows for the Tega to trailblaze with the high range gearbox, even with cargo. While it's not the most fuel efficient vehicle, it's 330 liter 88 gallon tank coupled with our upcoming pros make the 6436 one of the best trucks around. Upside number two, all wheel drive and diff lock. A major advantage Russian trucks have is their always-on all-wheel drive and diff lock features. The Tega is not exempt from the list of Russian trucks with this perk. The always-on features make a strong case for using the high-range gearbox because of the performance value boost outside of low gears. I still love the off-road gearbox, but if you want to see some wild performance, then I think you should try out the high-range. Upside number three, tires. The original 51 inch custom mud balloon tires were exclusive to the Tega when the game was first released. Later on in phases, the developers added these options to other vehicles as well. The 6436 can almost use every tire option there is in the game as well as those balloon custom muds. These tires, although they do not have amazing grip quality, add balance to the vehicle as well as spreading vehicle weight in mud pits. Something I noticed when I first started playing the Tega was its tires. I noticed that they stopped the vehicle from sinking down to its frame in those super muddy conditions. This allows the Tega to move through those super muddy areas while others are just sending out winches to save them. Upside number 4, Ground Clearance. Before the upgraded raised suspension, the vehicle's ground clearance was mediocre at best. After unlocking it, the boost in ground clearance from the suspension and from the 4 inch tire boost from 47 inches to 51 makes a huge difference. This makes the Tega one of the best when it comes to crawling over rocks or traversing those deep conditions. Upside number 5, Stability. To be real, a lot of the Tega's ability is further boosted by those large custom mud tires, but something I can say without a doubt is that its stability is excellent. Those mud tires do increase stability due to their wide nature. However, the 6436 has a wide stance, soft suspension, and a very low center of gravity. Something I've noticed is that the vehicle resists overturning more often than not when you jar it off balance. When comparing other elite Russian 6x6s, objectively, I have to say that the Tega is the best at staying on its wheels. Upside number six. Agility. This upside seems odd, but hear me out. A lot of trucks like the Vorons and the big 8x8s have sluggish turning tendencies, but the Tega has a tight turning circle with that fast responding steering upon driver input. In this way, the vehicle is very agile even at trailblazing speed or maneuvering in tight spots. Usually, trucks with great upsides as this one lack somewhere else, and in the past, it's been in either steering or stability. This truck, however, is able to have quick reactions and top-notch maneuverability whenever put to the test. Upside number seven, performance and it's forgiving. This upside was to elaborate and bring together these upsides into our current one here at number seven. One truck that I can say that stays relevant on any region with complete confidence is the Tega. We all have leaned upon its amazing strength to get jobs done on every region SnowRunner throws at us. Personally, I have so much confidence in this truck that I just send it wherever. To be honest, I've gotten away with some insane things using this vehicle and that leads me to my next point. It's forgiving. The Tega is seriously so good at everything as we have learned it can make a bad driver look good. It basically is a safety net which can be a good thing for getting stuff done, but slows down driver skill improvement for lesser trucks. To wrap this one up, the 6436 practically can go anywhere and do the hardest of jobs. It also will stay on its wheels, keeping drivers safe from rescues. And finally, coming in at upside number eight, 
It's free and it's a great stock vehicle. I found it really odd that one of the best all around vehicles in the game was also one of the easiest to find as well. The Tega is found by completing the task called SOS, which is really close to the starting garage in Drownlands Tamir. Players can essentially unlock this vehicle in the beginning of the game for free just by repairing it and dragging it back to the garage. I must also mention that the 6436 is an excellent stock vehicle as well. It does take a while to get its upgrades, but if you need a stock powerhouse truck for the beginning parts of the game, the Tega is a great pick. Alright, so moving on to my personal ratings for this vehicle. For power, I gave it a 4 because of its powerful shared engine with the other Vorons. For terrain navigation, a rating of 5. This truck basically can do whatever you want and is relevant in whatever conditions. Being that it's easy to get and one of the best stock trucks to use for new drivers, this one is an easy 5. For aesthetics, I've always loved the way the vehicle looks, especially with those large balloon tires, so a rating of 5 here. Stability is easily one of the best for the 6x6 category. I gave this one a 5 because the Tega has saved me from tipping even in my dumbest of decisions. While I don't think the fuel burn is terrible, it is decent at times and then other times it's sporadic. Its fuel tank however is large and its range is amazing due to the vehicle's ability. Even though it cannot use every add-on in the game, I've done more rolls with this vehicle than most. Good weight, power, always on all-wheel drive and diff lock as well as those large custom mud tires makes the Tega pretty strong when it comes to grip. So in conclusion, the Tega 6436 is undoubtedly top 3 in the game and the amazing thing is, it's been around since launch date. For the record, despite giving this truck a very positive review, it's not my favorite, but I have to give credit where credit is due. If I were told to choose 3 trucks for any game mode to start, the Tega would have one of those spots for sure. Earlier I mentioned that the vehicle's ability is so great that it's forgiving, and that's true. I guarantee we all have multiple stories of using our beloved Sendit vehicle into some crazy situation and coming out of it somehow. However, I do feel that if other 6x6s were given its custom mud tires, the performance gap would be closer. I will say that no matter what, the 6436 is in a league of its own when it comes to stability, rock crawling, agility, and overall performance. In truth, the Tega sets the standard of which all other trucks are compared to. So in closing, I'm actually not what you would call a fan of the Tega, but I do admire and respect how amazing of a machine this thing is. My thoughts on who was king before the Zix 605R came around really doesn't matter, but I will tell you that the heir to the throne still lives. Try it out and let me know what you think. I hope this review gave you a fresh, new perspective of the Tega 6436. Please smash the like button, definitely share this video with someone who is struggling with the game, and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any future content. Hope y'all have a wonderful day, God bless and stay upright.